Manhattan football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Packers and the Jaguars, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. As it'll be the AFC champion, Jacksonville Jaguars, taking on the NFC champions, the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Oh, Charles, what a moment for this Jaguars franchise. Their first Super Bowl appearance since their founding in 1995. And how much applause should they be getting? A ton. Why? Finally took the last step because they'd been to the AFC Championship multiple times in franchise history. Finally able to step through the door and now on the precipice of their ready for their first involvement here. Bridgewater going to throw right away. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Foy is Sade Aluikin coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. On second down, it's Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Throwing, Bridgewater, setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. I think that we all figured when he called it that short of the mark. And they're playing with a lead here in this first quarter as this drive gets underway. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. They'll get 19 out of this, but it will still bring up a fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with the rhythm. The Jags defense back on the field for this next possession. They've had the upper hand so far in this first half of play, working with a good lead already as they look to defend this first down. They'll start out on the ground with Jones, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. To throw is Bridgewater. Got his man. It's Bo Melton. A gain of eight there on the play. And now it's third and four. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far. The Jacksonville defense back onto the field. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first. And down he goes. The pressure getting to Bridgewater. They dial up the corner blitz that time. And it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. On third down, here's Jones. And some room to run now. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Play action. 
action now. Bridgewater. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Foya Sade Aluikin in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's Bridgewater. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Foya Sade Aluikin able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. How about that, partner? His second sack of the... The Jags defense back on the field for this next possession. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Working with a two-score lead here in this third quarter as this next drive gets underway. On play action, it's Bridgewater. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. They go play action. Bridgewater. That's going to be caught downfield by Reed. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And inside give to Jones. Shifts by him at the 25. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Bridgewater now. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back into 32. Devin Lloyd. In there to drop him, and that is the seventh time tonight that he has gone down. Off the play fake, Bridgewater. And this throw will be intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off, and the Jags will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. The Jags defense back on the field for this next possession. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now the ball comes loose. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. We've all seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Put in a very good shift so far. And this one pretty well in hand. Just looking to finish strong here in the fourth as this next drive starts first and ten. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. A second down throw for Bridgewater. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Throwing is Bridgewater. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Foya Sade Aluikin make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. Well, this has to count as... The Jags defense back on the field for this next possession. Bridgewater. 
Bridgewater on first down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career, and he parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is we build defense back onto the field. down Bridgewater oh look at Thomas wide open and past the 40 before he's out of bounds great way to start the drive 20 big ones in a first down Bridgewater to throw it and he's going to be brought down here in the backfield Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's Bridgewater. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Third and long for Bridgewater. Completed out left to Dobbs. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. This was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way. But the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. Hey, we even somewhere tonight? Let's do it. Post Super Bowl man cast, and our guy Cap just won the biggest game of his life. Hey, RC, as the only Super Bowl champ among us, tell the people what's going on through Cap's mind right now. He's going to look at his ring like one or two times and then get back to the grind because this feeling that he has right now, he wants it again. RC, you were an undrafted dude, unlike Fred and myself. You had no expectations. Everything was gravy for you. Cap got drafted to turn an organization around, and he did it. That's right, but I wasn't the only one who thought that. You had people around the league and the media. They saw him as a college prospect and said, yeah, that's him. He's got next. I didn't always believe it. I'm going to tell you, but Cap did his thing. I can't argue anymore. His legacy is started. Hey, your tune has changed, but the one thing that won't change is Cap's play. Stay here to see all of it on Madcast.